Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today is a video request. I haven't done one of these for a while. Uh, again, video request is when someone emails me a particular question, and I try my hardest to try to solve it for you guys. And today's question is our video request is from Bernie Stoney. Hopefully, I'm saying your name correctly. And uh, this is basically the scenario uh, MDT 2012 update one. And uh, he's trying to import Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3 from the original ISO. Bernie, why are you doing this? Windows XP pretty soon is going to be discontinued. But, you know, you probably have your own reasons for doing it. Uh, and he's trying to make a task sequence to deploy it. But the problem is, is that he can't import the mounted ISO in MDT. It gives him a failure of uh, this below error. The source directly specified does not contain an identifiable operating system. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh, I did a little research on it, and it looks like MDT 2012 updates one does support Windows XP SP3. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna message you and let you know that it doesn't support. So I had to do some research, and it does support it. So that's a good thing. Uh, I actually went into my volume license uh, account and long and behold they did have the windows xp professional with service pack 3 iso so i downloaded it 32 bit and uh, i have it already downloaded so let's let me show you what i did so this is my uh, virtual machine again i'm running vmware workstation uh, this is how i do all my testing i actually have windows server 2012 r2 so hopefully Bernie, um, I don't know what operating system you are using. You're probably using 2003 or 2008 or two or whichever. Uh, so it should be the same thing. So uh, I have my deployment share here. Uh, I have nothing inside my operating system. So I'm actually going to right click on my operating system known and create a new folder because as you know, I love having everything uh, nicely organized. And this is uh, SP3, and it's 86. And I'm going to hit next. I'm just creating a, a subfolder within my node, my node actually. And uh, I'm going to right click, import the operating system. But before I do that, uh, I'm going to cancel this, and I'm going to go into my virtual machine, go to settings, and within my CD DVD, I'm going to mount the Windows XP Service Pack 3 ISO which is actually in my downloads folder and it's right here Windows XP professional 32 bit ISO awesome and we're gonna press OK press OK and uh, it's gonna prompt that I have something in DVD that's a good thing so I'm gonna right click on my folder import the operating system I'm gonna do a full set of source files hit next and pick the directory now the directory because I have mounted the ISO inside the DVD or the D drive, I just have to just select D drive, press OK. Hit next. The name of your destination, I'm gonna leave it as is. Hit next and hit next. Now to this point right here, I'm assuming this is where you received the error, Bernie. Uh, when I did my initial testing on this to make sure it was working with no problem before I did the video for you, uh, I did not receive any error. So hopefully this is the part that you receive problems I don't know where you receive the problems at it's probably at the task sequence but again I'm gonna create the task sequence once the importing is completed and we're back so awesome the process completed successfully very satisfied on that so that's a plus so I'm gonna hit finish on that and let's go inside my folder and within my folder you will see our service pack 3 Windows XP machine awesome as you can see all the details as is the built number that it, now, basically, the build number indicates that the service pack 3 is imported. And let's create the task sequence. So, within the task sequence node, again, I love creating folders just to keep myself organized. So, I'm just going to call it the Windows XP. And here we go. Hit next. Just creating a folder. And within the folder, I'm going to right click and create a new task sequence. And let's give it a task sequence ID. Normally, because this is my first task sequence within a fresh MDT deployment share, I normally go by 0001, and let's give it the, a name. So I'm going to do uh, deploy uh, Windows XP Service Pack 386, and hit next. And then from here, again, I'm going to do a standard client task sequence. I'm just deploying the operating system, and that's it. Hit next. And it's going to want you to select your OS. 
and then from here let's navigate to where your uh, operating system is at hit next now you have to specify a product key for the operating system this is one of the things that the Windows XP does you know when you place the DVD inside the machine you boot from the DVD old school Windows XP style it prompts you for the serial key if you did not place the serial key within the Windows XP deployment time Windows XP would never never finish the installation I kinda hated that a lot but uh, for this video only I'm just gonna do do not specify a product key at this time uh, let's provide a full name. I'm going to call it uh, BJ Tech News and organization is BTN Productions. And BTN, if you guys don't know, is BJ Tech News. And browser, most likely you're entering your company's browser. So I'm going to enter my site, which is bjtechnews.org. Hopefully I can spell it right. And I'm going to hit next on that. Uh, provide an administrative account. This is always a good thing to have. Again, this administrative account, guys, is for your local administrative account within the machine not your domain account okay we're gonna hit next on this a nice little summary hit next and it is processing so the task sequence was created successfully on this part so uh, hopefully this was kind of informative I don't really know where the problem is at, Bernie so if you could just leave a comment right below and let me know where you were getting stuck because the importing was successful for no problem uh, my guess is is the ISO a clean ISO if it's if it's a legit ISO that you received it from a legit you know website <laughs> um, you know I don't know where the problem is it could be so many so many variables can could come into this scenario you know you probably have a bad ISO try to extract the ISO in within a folder and then point MDT to that particular folder where all the files do that uh, but again, I, I downloaded the ISO from my volume license center, imported it with no problem, and created the task sequence. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this is kind of informative to you, Bernie. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them right below. And for those that are still using XP and you want to do it with the MDT, this is how you guys import the operating system as well as create the task sequence. And hopefully you guys uh, enjoy your day. And uh, don't forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.